BBC Midlands Today presenter Nick Owen has been a staple presenter on the show for 26 years, becoming a firm favourite with fans. BBC's Nick Owen revealed today that he has been diagnosed with prostate cancer and admitted the day he found out was the worst day of his life. Opening up about the initial diagnosis and the reason why he decided to see his doctor, Nick explained, I went to a specialist. He wasn't too worried because my figures weren't that high, but he decided I ought to have a scan and then the scan said there was something dodgy going on. And then he sent me for a biopsy which he did and the results of that were the killer, on April the 13th, a date which will forever be imprinted on my mind. He told us that it was extensive really and aggressive, and I had prostate cancer full on, and something needed to be done pretty fast. That was probably the worst day of my life, or certainly one of them, he revealed. Nick added, it was a very grim moment, driving home after that sort of news and ringing people, texting people, my phone went crazy for hours on end. And it was a very, very difficult time for me, and indeed for my wife Vicky who was by my side all the time through this, you know. It was grim. A BBC spokesperson confirmed Nick would be taking a break from his radio show and said in a statement, Nick has been one of the faces of Midlands today for more than 25 years. Our viewers and his colleagues have missed him dearly in recent weeks. We can't wait to welcome him back to the studio as soon as he's ready. We all wish him a speedy recovery. Before his flourishing career with the BBC, Nick presented Good Morning Britain with Anne Diamond in 1983, before moving on to Good Morning with Anne and Nick between 1992 and 1996. Nick was very vocal during the coronavirus pandemic, telling fans he felt had retired but was grateful because it gave him a chance to spend time with his wife Vicky. Speaking to the Shropshire Star, he said, It's the biggest crisis in my lifetime. It's so all-embracing, it's not just us it's the world. Besides the fact that we're restricted and can't do what we want to do, it's scary. Normally, two and three days a week or more, I'd be going to work at lunchtime. I'm still in touch with the office and contributing to Midlands today, but basically it's as if I retired. I'm at home most of the time and my day centers around going for a good long walk. My partner, Vicky and I are very sociable. We have six children and five grandchildren between us, so there's a lot of phoning going on.